All right, here's a live look at where it's all going down, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. <laughs> Maybe not all going down because, of course, Janet and Luna yeah, are at yeah. State Farm Arena tonight, but that's just out of frame there on the left. Yep. This is the center of the universe for all things entertainment for the entire weekend. A lot of people are going to be out and about as this action-packed evening kicks off in a few hours. Okay, so here's the lineup in case you've been living under a rock and you don't know this weekend's entertainment overload. Uh, tonight, it's dueling concerts. We've got Taylor Swift and Janet Jackson, along with Ludacris. Saturday and Sunday, more sellout performances by Taylor Swift at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gervier Dinsa. And I'm Rob Hughes. Entertainment overload. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to describe it. Two of the top female artists in the world bringing about 100,000 expected fans to neighboring venues tonight. Atlanta News First reporter Madeline Montgomery is in downtown with what you need to know before you head out. Any minute now, this opening up to sell merchandise for Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, the opening night tonight. Fans so excited for this Atlanta leg of the tour and fans waiting anxiously to buy that merchandise, go to the concert, and then, of course, next door at State Farm Arena, fans seeing Janet Jackson and tour around the same time. And you can almost smell the anticipation. It is 930 in the morning and we are dressed. <laughs> yes. So We're ready for a full day. It's not curtains up for Taylor Swift until 630, but fans are out and masterminding ahead of opening night of her era's tour in Atlanta. I'm hoping to wait for tickets to go down. Just basically stalk the ticket apps. And hopefully catch something cheap. Corgan Pisani and his girlfriend came all the way from New Orleans to wait for Swift swag oh, yeah. and then pray for concert tickets to the sold out show. I just, think it's crazy to be honest. I, mean, I didn't think it would be this big of a deal, but shoot, here it is. Hard to get marks, hard to get tickets. With the bin sold out for the singer with the big reputation and tens of thousands of Rhythm Nation members cramming into State Farm Arena to see Janet Jackson, these sidewalks will not be empty for long. It's kind of overwhelming, experience, uh, especially if you get tickets to anything. Where are you going to park? What are you going to do for rides? Stuff like that. How early you got to leave with traffic? It's a big, overwhelming mess. <laughs> Fans going to the concerts are warned that most restaurants in downtown have no reservations left, and parking lots nearby are already sold out. Getting a hotel, impossible. Whether you're singing All For You or All Too Well Tonight, you need a clear bag and a credit card at both cashless venues. Well, you know there's going to be so many people because Taylor Swift's huge and Janet Jackson's huge. Yeah. So I think it adds to the fun, makes the experience a little more fun for us because we've never done anything like crazy yeah. like this. Taylor Swift's merchandise is being sold until the concert ends tonight. Reporting in downtown Atlanta, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. All right, and if you're heading to either concert, keep in mind all parking lots in and around Mercedes-Benz Stadium sold out. That means MARTA, maybe rideshare, those are your best options to get downtown. These are the closest MARTA stations to the stadium. Vine City, Garnett, and CNN Center MARTA stations, they're all within walking distance of the concerts. MARTA says it is putting extra trains in service to help transport fans all night, and they'll have teams and police stationed at these stops to help protect people.